There's a twinny here. It's a crocodile or reptile. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since. It's not a good angle, but the lighting will probably be better. Good evening you guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 7. There's a twinny here. Obviously, he has followed me around absolutely everywhere since I got back from Edinburgh. Oh, this camera battery's running out. I just stood up to change the camera battery and now I've lost my place because twin is sat in it. But um, you did hear me correct, it is the evening, it's almost 7 o'clock. Usually I don't vlog on Wednesdays. Uh, because I go to my auntie's house and I just don't vlog there. I bought a few things this morning that I wanted to show you, so I'll show you those in this vlog, but um, there is a chance that today and another day will be paired together. Let's do advent calendars. I've just realised I've left my chocolate one downstairs, so we'll have to do that when I get downstairs. But the body shop one, and door number seven is this really big one that says, a wish for Christmas, Go greener, literally, this Christmas and choose a replantable tree. Our tree isn't replantable, but because it's artificial, we just use the same one every year until it's like no good anymore. Ooh, it's a cleansing face and body bar in the scent Satsuma. That does smell really nice. I'm gonna go downstairs now and sort through the things that I bought today. And then I'll show you the things that I got because I got some baubles for the Christmas tree. I also got a couple of other things. So I don't know how many of you will have seen the vlog where I put up this Christmas tree behind me. This is our novelty Christmas tree. I'll show you it in a second. I believe it was day three that I put this up and I decorated it and showed me decorating it. And I said that eventually I want to fill the entire tree with novelty baubles. And until then, I was just putting the regular round baubles in the gaps um, because obviously we don't have enough baubles at the minute to fill the Christmas tree. If you go back to that vlog where I put up this tree, I did talk you through the novelty baubles that we've already got, but I will just quickly show you them. Some of the ones that are already on the tree and then you'll get an idea of what I'm talking about. So we've got a rainbow up here. We've got a burger, a little gherkin with a Santa hat a robot with a tutu. This one I actually bought in Edinburgh. It's a red car with a Christmas tree on. Got some french fries there. A hot chocolate there. A mixer there. A Santa head. Santa's mailbox. A nutcracker down there. And I think that's it. So those are all of the novelty baubles that we already owned. And I said that over time I wanted to buy more novelty ones because eventually I want to take the regular baubles off and just have the novelty baubles on so the entire tree would just be filled with novelty baubles. I just really like it. I know it's not to everyone's taste, but this tree in here is smaller than the one that we have in the living room. And we sit in here for our meals and it's more of like a social area that we have here in the dining room so it just makes me smile that it's just filled with all of these funny baubles and today when I went out I bought some more so I thought I would just show you the ones that I've bought today and then I'm going to put them on the tree I think what I'm going to do is try and keep all of the novelty ones to like the front of the tree where people can see them for the time being and all of the like regular round ones I'm going to move around the back so I'll replace a round one with a novelty one and then put the regular ones at the back for now and then obviously eventually we will have an entire tree of novelty baubles and we'll just have to put them on at random I think um, in the future. So the shops that I've been to so far, um, I think a lot of these say on the label where I got them from. In fact let me just... Um, like separate them very quickly. I think the best shop that I went to today for the novelty baubles was Asda Living. I did go to a few other places as well. I, I was just shopping locally to me, so um, there was only a handful of places for me to go. The first place that I got a novelty bauble from, it's a bit more of a plain one, but it still works with the novelty aspect, was the pound shop and I got this little train. The next place was Wilco's and I got 
this Christmas jumper. It's like a little miniature Christmas jumper. And my Nanan really liked this one. So we got this one. It's like a little mouse in a coat and a scarf and he's got like little antlers. Or is it like a deer? I have no idea what that's supposed to be. I think it's like a mouse type of creature. And then the final place that I looked today and probably the best place that I looked today in terms of novelty baubles was Asda Living. So I got this one which is a post box. Kind of ironic because the Royal Mail are on strike at the minute. <laughs> Um, I got this one, which is a Santa in a onesie with a teddy bear. I got this one, which is a games console and it says good game on it. This one I think is probably going to be like a favourite because one of the most favourite ones on the tree at the minute that people say they like the most is the robot in the tutu. Um, I got a crocodile in a tutu. I feel like Katie might like this one. Very on theme for Katie and the reptiles. Is a crocodile a reptile? And then I got this one because it's very fitting for us and this house. It's a cat lady. A little cat lady one with all of the cats. If only she had blonde hair. But either way, still very fitting. So yes, the cat lady one was definitely a firm favourite that I found today. So I'm going to put all of these on the tree now and we shall see what it looks like with them on. I'll show you once I've put them on, like where I've put them on and all of that kind of stuff and kind of what I've done to it. So this is the tree with some more of the novelty baubles on. You may be able to spot some of the new ones that I've put on. Honestly, Oh, it makes me so excited to see this finally taking shape how I imagined it in my mind. Obviously there's still a way to go, there's still gaps, there's still plenty more baubles to be bought. But for now, I think it's starting to come together really nice. And I'm so excited to see what it's like when it's like purely novelty baubles. I think it's nice because every time you look at it, you notice something different. And you notice like a different bauble, so I just think it's really nice. Before I go, I am going to open my chocolate advent calendar. Door number seven. <coughs> it's a little snowman. Can you come with me, There's a little gingy in the wash basket. <laughs> So if you watched my last November vlog, then you will have seen me talk about some birthday presents, one that I bought my cousin and one that I bought my dad. And I actually bought my cousin a Rubik's Cube. Not gonna go like into massive detail, not that there is any to go into. Um, his birthday was actually the day that I went to Edinburgh. So I left it with his mum, she gave it to him and I went to see him um, when I got back and we got it out and since he opened it we've all kind of been caught up in this Rubik's Cube. Um, I had a go, his mum had a go, Taylor had a go although she didn't quite understand what she actually needed to do which is to be expected you know she's coming up to four years old. I haven't been able to stop thinking about it since he started trying to solve this Rubik's Cube. So today I bought myself one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I love anything like this. Things where it's like, you have to think about it, but you can also kind of just do it casually whilst you're watching TV or whilst you're watching some YouTube videos, listening to music. You know, you could take it with you. I get travel sick, so this wouldn't apply to me, but someone who doesn't get travel sick, this would have been perfect on the four hour train journey to Edinburgh. Like, you know, things like that. Take it in your bag whilst you're waiting on your food in a restaurant. So yeah, I bought myself one and I'm gonna jumble it up and see if I can solve it. So you may see some Rubik's Cube footage <laughs> in Vlogmas because um, ever since he got his, I've just not been able to stop thinking about it. And on the back it says there are 43 different combinations of how you can solve the Rubik's Cube. We'll see how long it takes me to solve it. <laughs> I don't know how often I'm actually gonna be doing it, but when I do do it, 
we'll see how long it takes me to solve it. So it's a bit later now. I'm gonna get in my pajamas and settle down for the evening. And sorry, I'm trying to get like decent light. This is not a good angle, but the lighting will probably be better. Yes, I'm gonna get my pajamas on. I'm gonna get settled for the evening. I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Even though it started late, like very late, I think we might have actually had a decent amount of footage for today. I really hope that you liked it. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again tomorrow.